Hey guys, Cameron here and welcome back to the Train and Tell YouTube channel. Today's video is a little bit different as you can see we are doing a pack opening and the first month of Shattered Stars from Elestrals has dropped. So anyone wondering what Elestrals is, it is a TCG made by A-Drive. A-Drive, as you all know, is a Pokemon YouTuber who is now dipping into his own TCG game called Elestrals. He has made a YouTube channel which basically tells you more about Elestrals, so I'll leave it in the description below so you can go over and check that out. Uh, but there's stuff on there like how to play the game, packs, different types of cards, etc. Everything you need to know about Elestrals is on there. Anyway, this is one of the first sets released by Elestrals called Shattered Stars. Basically, how it works is each month you get so many packs. So obviously, I've ordered three different bundles which come with three packs and a promo card this month. So I should get three different promo cards which you'll see later on. I am going to give one of those away. And then in each bundle you get three packs. So I've got nine in total. So... Hopefully we can pull one of the Stellars, which is this game's equivalent to Shinies. Uh, I do know in this set for each month there is going to be a Stellar out of 10. So there's only going to be 10 of those printed in each month. And there's also going to be the 99 ones, which we've seen before. So hopefully we can pull one of those. But yeah, each month you do get a different type. So this month is the Electric type for Zapta. I believe it's called Thunder. And each pack does consist of six of the same common cards and one Hollow. But my main aim is to get one of the Voltempest stained glass cards. And obviously a Stella would be really nice. Right, so first things first, we'll head straight for the promo cards, which is the Stratomov stained glass card. I will probably butcher the name of the Elestrals in this video. I have looked at Elestrals, I have followed it a bit, but I haven't like religiously studied it. So again, like I said, the names I'll probably butcher. But this is the Stratomov stained glass card. So like I said, I have got three of these as I ordered three different bundles. So if you'd like to win one of these, we are doing a giveaway. So make sure to join our Discord in the description below. Head over to the giveaways channel and there will be the information and everything you need to do to enter the giveaway. But anyway, let's get into the pack. We've got Toxion. Like a vault. Let's just make some room, get these out of the way. But yeah, we've got Like a vault. Not sure if there is a card trick. But we'll learn it in a bit. We've got Spark It. Quackle. Astrabbit. The, do, the cards do actually feel really nice. And there's the full art Zeus. So that is our first hollow. And there's the full art Zapta, which I believe is a spirit card. I believe there is a full art Zapta in each of these packs with a chance of it being a hollow. We have got the Full Art Zeus, like I said, which does look really nice, so we'll put that at the back. Being our first pull. I haven't done many of these types of videos before, so bear with me. I'm probably not the greatest at doing them. I will be opening the Elestral Shattered Stars for each month every time they come around. But if you want to see Pokemon pack openings and stuff like that, again, just let us know in the comments below. So like I said, all the common cards are the same. It is just the hollows which are different, which isn't bad, really. It makes it easier to get your play sets. Uh, to complete your sets if you're a collector. It just it keeps the prices down. Because if there's a really usable card, you're not fighting to get it. You're not looking for it forever. You're just knowing you're going to get it straight away. So it keeps the prices low. Because that is one of the downsides to Pokemon, I believe. They release so many different sets. It's so expensive. You're not guaranteed to get the cards. You miss a few sets. You're then miles behind with deck building. But if Elestrals keep releasing stuff like this, I don't think there'll be a problem that way. As we pull the Shield of Achilles, which is one of two item cards, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure on what these cards are. Leave in the comments below if you do know. But there is two different ones you can get. So we've got the Shield of Achilles, which is one of the two. As we go into the final pack of the first bundle. There's a Zapter at the back. So the card trick is the one from the back that gives you the full art so we'd like a vault again spark it quackle strip it again and there is the vault tempest stained glass card that is the card we wanted most which is looking awesome next to the stratomoth i am wanting one of each of the stained glass cards in each of the month sets so hopefully that is doable. So I am going to try and uh, fly through these a bit quicker now because we have seen the common cards. I've got the two biggest pulls I believe so far which aren't Stellars. 
being the uh, Vault Tempest and the Zeus. So the only thing now I'm looking for, obviously duplicates would be quite nice, but the only thing I'm looking for now is one of the Stellars. If we can get the Sonic All out of 10, I don't know what will happen. We've got a... Oh, Shield of Achilles. Duplicate of one of the cards we don't want. Also, I don't know if the Hollow Zapter is an extra Hollow at the back, or if it comes in the Hollow spot so you don't get two Zapters. That is another card I keep forgetting about, which would be nice to pull. So hopefully we can get that in this set at some point. Still got four or five packs to go, so fingers crossed we're going to get it as we go through these. Again, Spark Kit, which looks awesome. I haven't really read any of the cards, so I do need to learn the TCG. And there is another Zeus looking awesome with the Zapter. So, so far, we've got two Zeuses and two Shield of Achilles. I wonder if we're going to get the Voltempus in the last pack. If we do, I hope there's not a sorting issue. I mean, we have been pretty lucky. We've got the cards I wanted. There might be a sorting issue with it being quite new, but then at the same time, there is only five cards, so a lot of people are going to get duplicates. So, fingers crossed, there is a Stella lurking at the back. As you see, they are first edition as well. I haven't mentioned that. These are all first edition cards. And there is another Voltempus stained glass with a regular Zapter. So, exactly the same as the first bundle, like I said. I don't want to say it's a sorting issue because it probably isn't. It is literally just the fact there is five hollows you can get, all with the same chances of getting them. But we have managed to stay away from the item cards or the spell cards, and we have managed to hit the Elestrals. So, I can't complain there. As we go into the last bundle and our last chance to try and get the Stellar card. Not the worst thing though, if I do end up playing the game and getting into it, which I said I need to do, I need to learn the rules. Like I said, I'm just skipping through the cards. There's another Zeus. We have now got a playset of the Zeus's. So if I want to build a deck, I have got three awesome Zeus cards. So I can't complain. We've got really good cards. It is looking like I'm probably going to pull the same things again. It might be a sorting issue. But like I said, I cannot complain. It is going to give me a playset of the Zeus's and the Voltempest. So let's skip through these quickly, see what we get. Hopefully it's a Stella. It's a Voltempest again, so there we go. There's the playset of the Voltempest. Beautiful card. See that puts me in the kind of bit of a dilemma now. Do I trade these for the cards if I don't pull them in the future sets? Or do I keep these and have the playset? So if I'm right, this should be the Shield of Achilles, yes, there it is. But there we have it guys, that has been month one of Shattered Stars with Elestrals. Like I said, cannot complain at the pulls. We've got the main cards I wanted being the Zeus and the Voltempest. Not only that, we have got the uh, a full playset of them. So anyway, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in March with month number two.